We just got Farseers, Templars, Dark Rangers, Vampire Death Knights and a total of 39 proposed new hero classes that will be coming in the War Within. However, best of all, all of this is actually subject to change based on our feedback and new classes will be added all the time. So finally, after all this time, we may actually be in for getting Necromancers, Blade Masters, Tinkers, Wardens, Beast Masters, Witch Doctors and a whole bunch of other lore classes we've been requesting since forever. Let's look at what are hero classes exactly in the new expansions, which ones are we getting, which ones kind of suck and which ones would work really well in the game. If you guys are looking for a really immersive multiplayer RPG on your phone, Dungeon Hunter 6 is 100% legit. This is a game where you play as a bounty hunter, where you not only slay bosses, but you make them serve you. An incredible fusion of PvP and PV with real-time guild wars. It is super easy to get into the eye, top-notch graphics, a ton of units on the screen at once with incredibly smooth gameplay. The multiplayer aspect is also incredibly big. You not only engage in guild battles, but also epic boss raids with your friends. Best of all, Dungeon Hunter 6 features an incredible gacha mechanism where you can summon up to 3 bosses to turn them into members of your squad and you can even shape shift into them. With over 100 unique bosses and classes, the combinations are endless. The quality of life is 100% optimized to make your mobile gaming experience as valuable as possible. So it's never been a better time to start. Scan my QR code on the screen or click the link in the description and you will get a $50 starter pack. 10 summoning scrolls, 1 SSR Lieutenant Demonic Wolf, 1 accessory pack. Check out! The Dungeon Hunter. So I've been making endless videos on new classes that Blizzard should add from Sentinels to Blade Masters to Tinkers and finally Blizzard actually decided to do something about it with a new hero class feature. In my opinion this might be one of the best features they had ever done and it kind of showed us that they do care about the lore because remember there are so many and I mean so many classes in the lore and playable classes are so generalized that it doesn't really make too much sense like all these lore classes can fit into these molds. Everyone is just kind of bunched into one, so witch doctors would essentially be priests, same as light priests, same as void priests that are really closer to warlocks, and priests of the light are completely different, so this new hero class system spec could be everything that we ever wanted. Now if you're not exactly certain what this means, to explain it super simply, this is a new war within feature that is essentially an alternative to regular talents that we get every expansion, so instead of just getting a whole bunch of new boring and generalized talent points, they will make a whole bunch of new additional specializations. So for example, while you are a shaman, you can also be a farseer, which is what we used to play back in Warcraft 3. It isn't exactly a new class, but it is like further specializing it with new ability bonuses and spells, which will be thematic to these new hero classes. Now of course this isn't the best news, the best news is that this is now set as an evergreen feature that Blizzard created and this is something they plan to constantly add on much like the customizations that we've been getting all the time so we could potentially be seeing new versions every patch or every expansion which is amazing it opens a whole new door of possibilities. Now the bad news is that we got 39 hero specs and I honestly find half of them not only kind of lame but also just vague and generic sounding but once again good news Blizzard said that this list is the most subject to change out of all the new expansion features so we should all just post feedback to blizzard tell them what we actually want to see and i kind of want to contribute to that even they admitted that some of these could actually be lame so they want all our feedback in order to introduce new classes which means this could be our way to get blade masters or beast masters in the game as an actual reality and not just fan fiction that they have been up to this point so let's really quickly look at what they can actually given us what others we could get because I do feel like we have so many more lore classes that can be added instead of the new made up ones. So with that knights we have some of the most interesting ones. Rider of the Apocalypse, Sandline and the Deathbringer. The first and the last seem quite vague, I mean it sounds like just a random death knight troll, however the first Rider of the Apocalypse could potentially signal maybe some type of mounted combat or something related to the first generation of death knights. The second one though, Sunline is super super interesting. As you may know these are the vampiric blood elves that you might remember and this could be incredible 
incredibly unique. These were the fallen followers of Keltas that the Lich King turned into his servants and we could all see the life stealing and blood based abilities. However, I feel like this here is the and I mean the perfect opportunity to actually get necromancers. With that knights, necromancers are just kind of halfway there, I mean they already have half of the abilities, so literally why not just add the necromancers as a new hero spec. They don't even have to be spellcasters, they could just be specialized death knights unless they actually plan to add them as a fully fledged class later down the line. Now next down the line we have the demon hunters, the so called Aldrachi Reaver and the Fell Scott. Super generic name, the Aldrachi though, were the race that originally resisted Sargeras, so we could see some lore there, but honestly I'm not sure what I would really add to the demon hunters here apart from maybe the void demon hunters that I had previously covered, which I think would reignite their purpose because the legion is not really all that relevant at the moment, although with the new saga, the sword, Sargeras, it could be actually coming back in some way, shape or form. On the other hand, with warriors, I feel like we kinda got the lamest ones and I say this as someone that has been maining a warrior for the past 15 years, but they do have the most potential out of all the classes. We got the Colossus, the Slayer and the Mountain Tain. At the moment, I'm really liking the Mountain Tain and I would say it is literally the Mountain King from Warcraft 3 as it kinda sounds like it, the Dwarf Warrior that we played back in the RTS, but the first two just kinda sound super generic like some 12 year old <laughs> battle tag, I mean the Slayer and the Colossus. With warriors, there is so much that can be added, I mean for example Blade Masters which is like the warrior class back from Warcraft 3, especially now with the recent transmog that we got, I mean you can already look like a Blade Master, as well as they could possibly add some type of a Barbarian or a Gladiator much like Varian, which I also think could work quite well. However, I feel like this class should really get updated, I'm not really liking the Colossus and the Slayer, although we don't really know what it is at the moment. Then we got the Shamans, which is also super interesting, we got the Farseer, the Stormbringer and the Totemic. The Stormbringer sounds possibly related to the new expansion, the Totemic sounds really weird, but we finally got an actual Farseer that we've had all the way back in Warcraft 3. The the only change I could possibly see is a Dark Shaman, which is something we got all the way back in Mists of Pandaria, the shamans that aren't exactly playing nice with the elements and I think that spec could actually be quite unique and super interesting. Then the mages honestly seem kinda generic, we got the Sun Fury, the Frostfire and the Spell Slinger, most of this kinda sounds super generic, not gonna lie, I would personally like to see something akin to an Archmage like similar to Khadgar or Antonidas or possibly even a battle mage or a spell breaker from warcraft 3, although that is technically a completely different class, but so far it is really hard to tell like who the sun fury frostfire spell slingers really are exactly. Hunters on the other hand seem really really interesting, we got the sentinel, the pack leader and the dark ranger. All these to me honestly sound super exciting, the sentinel is essentially the night elven class that we had all the way back in warcraft 3, as well as the dark ranger that we had with the undead and I really like this distinction because a dark ranger when you look at the lore is so different when compared to a regular survival hunter, however the pack leader honestly sounds like a beast master, but I would wanna see an actual beast master like that would be amazing, this is something we've requested for a really long time. Furthermore, this could be an excellent way to actually add the rifleman from Warcraft 3, like a class that specializes in using rifles and gets bonuses from those abilities, that would honestly be amazing. Now paladins sound really cool as well, we got the lightsmith, the herald of the sun and the templar. Personally, I find the templar most exciting, it seems like a really unique class. The first two sound kinda generic, especially the lightsmith, no idea what this really means. The Herald of the Sun in my opinion sounds like a more nature based one similar to the Torrent, so that could work well. What I would like to see though is potentially some type of a Vindicator which is a Draenei specific class and I could totally see that coming with the potential upcoming villain and the broken storyline that will definitely be happening in the very near future. Next on we have 4 brand new druid hero classes and these may be some of the Coolest. We got the Keeper of the Grove, Elune's Chosen, Wild Soccer, and the Druid of the Claw. Personally, I think it is really good and it might be best out of all of them, especially the Keeper of the Grove and the Druid of the Claw, as well as the Elune's Chosen, which could be something similar to a Night Warrior, just not that dark, and it could actually work out really well. I wouldn't really add all that much to it, I mean, there are already kinda plenty of choices here. Now, for the Evokers, we got the Crown of Orden, the Ruby Adept, and the Scale Commander, and seeing that these guys were literally just added to the Warcraft 
have two universes, they barely have any lore. Honestly, I think all of this is plenty. I wouldn't really add all that much to it, even this is kind of quite a bit. The rogues, on the other hand, have some okay choices, but honestly, nothing all that special. We got the Deathstalker, the Trickster, and the Fatebound. These at the moment sound quite generic. Personally, I would like to see a Warden, although that could technically be a Warrior, but it could also work as a Rogue and also some type of a Bandit. That would be really interesting as well. I mean, imagine something similar to a uh, Defiance Brotherhood Bandit, although you can kind of technically already do that with any spec. Priests, on the other hand, have interesting choices voices as opposed to some of these other classes as we got the void weaver the oracle and the archon the void weaver is obviously the shadow priest and this could work really well with this new upcoming void storyline that is coming in quarter last and i'm guessing the archon is going to be related to the light storyline that is coming later down the line oracle not really sure how that would work i'm guessing something kind of in the middle however i definitely want to see how the void viewer works as i'd love to see something more related to the shadow most importantly i'd love to see the witch doctors for years we've considered them in the role-playing community to be related to priests just using witch doctor based abilities so this could honestly be an excellent specialization although as the witch doctors are definitely quite a bit further they might have to be a whole new class if they honestly decide to go that route now with the monks, we got pretty much as you would expect. We got the Master of Harmony, the Shadow Pan, the Condit of the Celestials. Very generic monk names, but honestly, I'm not sure what could really work with them other than this. I mean, we already pretty much have everything that is related to the lore, so there really isn't all that much room here to really expand the monks. However, with the Warlocks here, we already have something interesting. So far, they've given us the Soul Harvester, the Hell Caller, and the Diabolist, which honestly sounds pretty decent, although I'll bit generic names. The Warlocks are already pretty well developed as a class, but these ones seem to just be kind of further specializations of them. We might see more developments with the Void, as that is where we will be going in the future, so something could be happening that in the near future, but nothing really too interesting I could think of. Overall though, a lot of these are definitely generic sounding and personally I wouldn't even touch some classes as they seem completely okay. However, what I would definitely want to see are the witch doctors that could be added either to the druids or the priests, the wardens that could be added to the warriors and the rogues. I'd love to see blade masters, beast masters and most importantly the necromancers which is one of the most heavily requested classes and I think they could actually work out quite well for the dead knights. However, I'm certain Blizzard knows how popular they are so they they could actually be saving them to introduce them as a new class like a fully fledged class and they could potentially fit quite well when we go back to Northland in the last Titan. Thank you for watching, check out the War Between Cinematic explained on what you missed by clicking on the screen and check out my video on Ancient Greek Colonies in Spain by also clicking on the screen as well. See you next time!